right, here we go. We're gonna try out the Wagner Control Stainer 350. So in the box, it comes with two parts. Here's a container to hold your stain or latex. I did buy this stainer in reason four for the Wagner Stainer 350. I bought this because um, it is more made for stain than latex paint. So um, reading all the reviews online, it did say, you know, if, if you want to use paint, you should try using a thinner paint. Um, it is not made for it, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so each one, the, each one of these numbers that you see here corresponds to the amount of material that's being distributed by the device. And I'm going to set it at five because I really don't know. Directions don't really say too much about it. Um, you can adjust this yellow front spray nozzle. Um, keeping it horizontal means you're spraying horizontally. And then keeping it vertical means vertical. You also have, by the front nozzle, a spray with a lever. So that simply just goes back or one side or the other, depending on how far or wide you want it. I'm going to keep it in the middle and see where we go, see if I need to make any adjustments. So what am I doing? I am doing this wood fence, which we installed about eight years ago, and you can see it was all the way down over there. Power washed it about a week ago and been kind of waiting for the rain to hold off. It's held off for a little over a day now, but I am doing this today, or starting it at least in mid-April, um, because of this guy. Our bees died. I have a new set of bees coming in on Saturday, which is tomorrow, and I at least want to try to get this stretch of the fence uh, restained before I get the bees tomorrow. My helper. <laughs> so here it is so far. Prepare. So coming along good. Good morning. Round two. So we're gonna start back up. You can see. We have to do a little bit of touch up. There's areas where um, we kind of missed or where the stain um, was absorbed by some drier uh, wood, but we're gonna hopefully take care of it. I got a couple extra gallons last night and let's talk about this guy. So it did take me a little while to kind of get in the groove of getting the right amount of stain being applied. Um, like I had mentioned earlier, this adjusts the amount of stain being um, distributed. Found that roughly five, five and a half is ideal. Um, that's about it. This container, roughly three, if you fill it up three times, is equal to about a gallon. So, um, just for reference, and um, like I said, I've already put down two gallons of stain. So. I'm hoping that the two gallons will be enough. I might have to go get a third. I'm not sure. We'll find out. There is the final product. Three and a half gallons were used to stain my side of the fence. The neighbor's actually going to do his side in a couple weeks with some friends. So here we go. Um, let's talk about this guy a little bit. What do we think overall? Overall, I thought it did really well took some time like I had mentioned earlier to get used to doing the adjustments um, figuring out how much to apply the width 
and then basically the tempo that you're going at I think that was uh, probably one of the more difficult things you know how fast I was going up and down um, probably wasted a lot more stain at the beginning um, with a lot of dripping just because I, I didn't really know the pace that I should go at and it got better as I went along the only thing I didn't really like about the Wagner is the handle and the grip um, your, your hand did end up getting sore as you try to hold the device as well as then pull the trigger um, it's one thing I thought uh, you know my hands started getting tired at the end it, you know, they could probably make this a little bit more friendly for your hand uh, one thing I also didn't mention is that when you start this you always make sure that you turn we'll call it the blower on um, before you pull the trigger that way then you have air moving through the system and then once you pull the trigger then your stain starts coming out so definitely a good product would tell anybody to get it saved me probably 10 hours worth of work so a little bit of a sore hand versus 10 hours worth of work I think it's worth it talk to you later